What's up you guys and welcome to the next episode of Tales of Asperia on RT Online. In the last episode, we followed the calls of Pharaoh, but it ended up being a mysterious Manta Phantasma thing. And then we... <laughs> we fought it, we beat it, but... We, uh, we couldn't take it anymore. The heat got to us, we all collapsed, and woke up in this strange place. W well, it was in these beds. But this place happens to be Yormgen, which was the, uh, the place that we heard about in that diary from the red chest that we got. And there's we, we ran into Duke, and he destroyed the clear CL crystal, which was in that red box. And we also met the wife of that dude who held the chest. There was a lot of things that happened in the last episode, but I want to get a move on with the plot. So, you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned some very important things. The child of the full moon and the Entelechaea. But the only new thing that we learned was that what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this... It's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe. Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I'd just kept living in my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the child of the full moon, or the Entelechaea, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri. Our contract with you is null and, and void at this point after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situ situations. They're not real life. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. If you can do that, then I won't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> Great commentary there. Uh... So who else should we be looking for? There's Raven. Might as well talk to everyone. We're waiting on Rita right now because she had to go to the desert. Hey, old man. You could feel free to go and head to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. <laughs> what, do you want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter on all of our accounts. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. <laughs> we'll be fine. You sure? <sighs> anyway, I ain't about to go back through the desert in that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered... But Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we'd collect your bones and letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just so long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem. <laughs> I really like Raven's character. You know, he's so strange. I mean, at least we know more about him at this point. But still, like, from the start... I was always confused about that character. He would just tag along whenever he wanted to. I mean, at least this time when he tagged along, he has a purpose. Now we need to find Judith. I don't know where she is. We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think we should go back to Dongrest? That might be best, but would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? It'd be fine. I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh, yeah. It is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah. But even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. 
but if we were going to work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make some place new, you know. Some place new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city? Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we could think about things like that. Yeah! Now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Palastrale City, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrest, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm? Leader of a city, duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. Me, too. Okay, guys, I actually formulated a theory when watching the last episode. Uh, this is probably wrong, but hear me out. So remember that dragon that supposedly saved us from the desert that was also in the Weezen of Kados? Well, if we look back to that episode of the Weezen of Kados, Judith reacted pretty weird to that dragon. What if that dragon is her dragon, but it just evolved? I don't know. That's why she's always acting so weird around it and not calling it a monster. Oh, there's Judith anyway. You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes, I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Ba'u all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No, must be your imagination. Okay, I think that's about time for us to rest at the inn. That's usually how it goes. We talk to everyone in the city that is in our party, and then we go rest. If you're wondering why I'm not talking to Rita, she's out in the desert, doing stuff. How about resting after a hard day's work? Would you like to stay for 50 gold a night? Yes! <clears throat> now all that dialogue took us a long time. Please come again. We look forward to serving you next time. Next time on Ride Time? <laughs> oh, I get me. Where is everyone? Guys, where'd you go? Are they all out here? Oh, there they are. I could make it. <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weezen of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea, too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. That's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? E yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Entelikea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Entelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantake. only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Reunited with everyone. Oh god, my voice. <clears throat> okay, 
why does Bellius do that? Why does she only have meetings on the new moon? That is freaking stupid. I mean, I feel like it was only meant to drag on the plot, but as for a leader, I don't know. That's, that's a bit stretching it there. Oh, great. Now we got to cross to the desert again. All right. We're going through the, the sands of Kogor, and then we're going to get back to Mantaic. That's how you pronounce it. I've been calling it Mantaic for the longest time. That's what happens when you put vowels next to each other. You get a confused pronunciation. But yeah, man take. That's what we're heading. And I know, I think I know the way to get back. We're going to fight some enemies along the way. There's a lot of things I want to do in this episode, like get, get to our objective so I don't forget. But we probably won't have enough time to do... <laughs> Excuse me. We won't, probably won't have enough time to do everything. So I, that kind of gets me down about that, was when I had the clear objective in my head. But I don't get to do it because, yeah, episode links, you know? Oh yeah, speaking of episodes, now that I'm done with the 3D Sonic playthrough a thon Tales of Asperia is going to be my only uploads for a little while. Because November's almost over, and I want to start my next playthrough around Christmas. I, um... I, I don't... I have no idea what I'm going to do next, but... I will take recommendations uh, in the comments below. If, for those of you wondering, no, I do not have a handheld capture card for my 3DS. Uh, I don't know where my N64 is still, so that's really confusing for Smash Sunday. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, the two, the only systems I can record on right now are my Xbox 360, my Nintendo Wii slash GameCube, and, uh, and my PS2. Yeah, I can play PS2 games, too. The only PS2 game I've done so far was Jack and Daxter. So if you guys want to recommend any PS2 games, feel free to go ahead. I'll take it into consideration. But just remember that I'll be doing it alongside Tales of Asperia. So you guys won't be missing a thing on this series if you love it so much. Now, yeah, that's all I really had to say there. Don't forget to comment suggestions because I will read all of the comments. Looks like we haven't been here yet. There's going to be some chests that we haven't opened. I don't want to fight that bird. I want to get to Mantake. Alright, I'll fight you. The more time we waste in battles, the less time we have to move on the plot. And I love this plot. That's the thing I've really gotten into with this story is, you know, the RPGs have a really good, I don't know, RPGs are really good at getting me wrapped up into this, uh, excuse me, into the story. Sorry I'm burping so much. I drank a monster during and before the video. Yeah, like during that cutscene where all the dialogue was going on, go. I finished up my can of monster, so I'm really burpy right now. Monster gets me in the mood for commentary. Uh, like, I can record without it, but I don't know. And have you guys noticed that we're going through the desert without a canteen? So I guess that mechanic was just thrown under the bus now. I mean, I guess we never really... <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going around. Uh-uh. I don't want to fight that thing. Because I'll have to go back so far if I have to fight that thing and lose. Well, then I can always run away. Okay, we'll fight this guy. We have... I think Yuri was the last one to level up. Who's going to level up next? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Go one. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So let's go up, down, up. There we go. Dude, that photon move is very helpful. It, like, locks on to enemies. How do those arts even work? They just summon them and the, when they're locked on from a long distance? That's pretty cool. Ooh, nice one. No, watch out, Rita. Yeah, I got you. Let's go. Dude, I can do so much damage now. I'm so powerful. Alright, is the exit here soon? I mean, at least we don't have to worry about our canteen running out. Oh, and I also figured something out with that manta ray, too. Remember how the, um, how it kept changing from day to night so quickly? It was because of that manta ray. Remember it had the, um, it had the moonlight and the sunlight moves? Yeah, it was doing those to change the day and night cycle. That's, that's interesting, right? <laughs> Yeah, there were a lot of things I noticed from the last episode, but I feel like I'm... St okay, I'm sticking with my theory that Ba'ul, Judas Dragon, is that giant dragon that we saw in the Weezen of Kados and when we fainted in the desert. That's gotta be Judas Dragon. She reacted to it so weirdly in the Weezen of Kados. I don't know. That's just what I'm sticking with. If I'm right, I deserve a cookie because that is a really, really big stretchy something. A really stretchy plot point, I guess? And it's weird that I guessed it correctly, if I Let's did go. guess it correctly. That's the thing with RPGs. I pay a lot of attention to the plot. It's one of the things I'm really drawn to. Seriously, where is the exit? I've been walking for ages. Oh, there it is. Is Mantake up soon? 
No, but here's a... Move to the nearest exit? Hold on, let me save it first before it takes me to a place I don't want to go. <clears throat> what does it mean, nearest exit? Is it just going to take us backwards? Gee, I hope not. Where are we? Oh! Okay, thank you, green thing. Yeah, we made it back to Mantake. Thank you, green teleporting thing that we've never seen before. Oof, we're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Oh no, it's Kumor. Kumor! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children... I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. So you did pick that up? Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol, don't worry. That young man is very capable. <laughs> What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach. I will find out who's responsible for this. Good job, Gotta Carol. Gotta hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. Yeah, Cat and Carol will start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. At the inn? So that's our next objective? Alright, so not everything's laid out flat in front of us like I wanted it to be, but uh, I can review this episode when I want to so I know what to do. That's the convenience of YouTube and you're the uploader. I mean, it's kind of hard to remember everything in an RPG. So much happens in one episode for this series. It's kind of mind-blowing. That's why my recaps are always different every time. Sometimes I go really into it. Sometimes my recaps are really brief. Oh, you've returned safe from... <clears throat> Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please, enjoy your stay. That Q more punk is really lousy guy. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but... 
At this rate, they're going to send all of the adults in the town out of the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No! That can't happen! If I just spoke to him as a re representative of the Imperial family... Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Estelle, he didn't take care... He didn't care that you were the princess at all. So, we should help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita, don't you want to know what the Entelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Kumor out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but... I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Kumor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. And if we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we can actually do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita... I understand. Lock up that guy, and as soon as he was released, he'll just end up in doing the same thing again. Yep. You know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. The only cure for stupidity is death. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. Oh no, he's gonna kill him again. Two more. I mean, not again, but he's gonna kill again. It's you! What are you doing here? Someone! Someone come quick! You would cross swords with a noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How could this? You talk too much, Kumar. The time's come for you to make your exit. D do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? <laughs> Wait! I'm not the one to blame! I've just been following orders! I had no choice! Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait! How about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start! I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead. Tell me what it is you want. There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, and what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kumor, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! I beg you, spare my life! Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words?
My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting. Down at the lake. Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes. It's a great relief to know the people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But q -more might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch. Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time. Right, Yuri? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> huh? The old man's asleep already? <laughs> that was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. Okay. I want to go talk to Flynn, but we're already going over time. I need... Flynn is by the lake. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go more over time. I, I don't have an option. Otherwise, I can't save it. So... It looks like Flynn knows what's up. Why don't you have a seat? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill two more? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong. Or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, sorry you have to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <sighs> Captain. Understood. Sir. Yuri? 
I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal. Then what? Oh, wait! Repeat! Yuri... Estelle knows. So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. It's true, the things you've done are against the law, but I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. <sighs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. You seem like he was in a hurry. No. I'm gonna continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is... Here's to the road ahead. Thanks. Oh man, what a night at the inn. Oh, I haven't sawed logs like that for a good long while. Yeah, it's called oversleeping. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Huh? There are fewer nights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Paul Estrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crene and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. All right, this is definitely where we're going to end the episode. I'm sorry that it went so long, but I could not end it. I, not only was I really into it, but there was no point in me to save it. So I hope you had a good time on Ride Time. I will see you all next time.